Fucking the weasel. Walking the weasel. Always walking the weasel. Every morning. Where are we? We're right here. Just woke up. Innisfree, Alberta. That's right. Same place we went to sleep. Once again. Oh, are you guys ready for a new day? You guys have a good sleep? I had a really good sleep. I slept like a rock. Why do people say that? Rocks don't even sleep. I do love summertime up here. Oh, I wouldn't want to be anywhere else for summer. For wintertime, forget that. I'd rather be down south, but summertime, I'd rather not be anywhere else. But look at all this garbage here. Oh, this is garbage. Look at this guy here. Air liquid. Is that liquid air? Is that possible to have liquid air? What is liquid air? What oh, is it? You still got man. He's got so much. You held it all night. You're such a good boy. So really, I'm gonna wake myself up here so that I'm a little more interesting, and I will talk to you in a little bit when we're on the road. This trailer beside me is leaking something out. And I'm thinking it's supposed to do that. But why does it do that? Oh no, it stopped. You saw it, right? There it is, see? Somebody tell me, what is that? Why is it doing that? Is it supposed to do that? Is that poison? Am I gonna die? I'm sure it's normal. <laughs> oh, so, today will be a flat kind of day. We're driving across the Canadian prairies, right? And the Canadian prairies are, like I said, flat. But that is my home, that's where I'm from. I'm from the prairie, so to me, that's normal. I always thought the earth was flat. <laughs> Not flat as in like, flat, but you know, I knew it was round, but I thought that it was, when I was a kid, ne never mind. And then, yeah, then I started, then I remember going to British Columbia for my first day to the Rocky Mountains, my first time. And I saw how big they are. I was blown away that the earth was not all prairies. Beautiful out there. And then I went out to like the eastern states and through uh, northern Ontario, through the Appalachians. Yeah. Growing up as a kid, I just thought everyone was prairie. Like, that's just normal to me. But a lot of you guys live out in the mountains. So thumbs up to you guys. You guys are so lucky you get to wake up to that. But I've heard many people in the mountains say, man, the prairies are so beautiful. There's so much sky. Yeah, I guess so. You, you can also see your dog running away for three days. It's kind of nice. You never lose them. Okay, we are ready to rock here. Diesel, are you ready? Are you ready? Ready as you'll ever be, man. Hang on. Everything's checked. Our pre-trip is done. We got good oil. Everything on the truck is safe to operate. Our trailer, our visual check says we're still attached. But we're gonna do a little tug test now, just in case, just to make sure that we don't lose our trailer. Why am I so dark all of a sudden? You know, sorry about that, this light over here, the camera adjusts to that and then you can't see me. That's why I gotta put it like that, I guess. Can you see me? Can you see me? Good, do you wanna see me? Never thought of that. Maybe you don't wanna see me. Whatever. Okay. Release the brakes. Some of you say, Chuck a challenge, you don't need a new tub test every day. I know, but I do it anyways just for peace of mind, just so that I know for sure, for sure, nobody's trying to sabotage me. Because sometimes, especially up here in Canada in the cold winters, the, the teeth that lock in in your fifth wheel to hold your trailer on, sometimes they, uh, they don't lock in properly, or they, whatever, for whatever reason, go and pop open. That doesn't usually happen, but what usually happens is because it's so cold, when you hook up to your trailer, dunk, they don't actually fully click in, so the trailer will feel like it's clicked in, and then like a little while down the road, it'll fall off. So, you're right. You know, you really only have to have to do it when you first hook up. But, I don't know. I'd rather be safe than sorry. I'm going to do it right now again, just to make sure, you know, that I know. I don't know about you, but I... I, I there's no such thing as being too cautious. You don't want to lose your trailer. Really, you don't. Unless you want to lose your job. You want to lose your job? A good way is to lose your trailer. Lose your trailer, lose your job. 
Easy as that. You might not lose your job, but you know what I mean. If you kill someone, you're probably gonna lose your job, probably gonna lose your license. Then what do you do? Okay, let's go. Uh, Patch a cannon here, do a little tug test, move forward. Try not to do it too. There we go. Still attached. Mind is at peace. It doesn't hurt. Just to do it again. We're heavy, if you remember from yesterday, we are sitting at like 80,000 pounds, which is not heavy to some of you, but to me, that's as heavy as I can go in the States, right? In Canada, we can go up to 87,000 pounds, so I guess I'm not really that heavy. Depends what you define as heavy. I mean, I couldn't pick this truck up myself, so. That's heavy. Okay, before we leave the parking lot here, let's turn our lights on. There we go, for safety. Uh, those of you who don't drive truck, hear me talking about uh, little things, safety here and there, safety this, safety that. Turn left on 53 Street, then turn left. Because as a truck driver, my title is a professional driver. That's what I do. And the government knows that. So if there is any accident, whether or not it's my fault and I'm involved, automatically it's my fault until I can prove that it wasn't. You know what I mean? Let's say I get completely rear-ended. Rear-ended and somebody dies. My fault until I can prove that I had legal right to be there on that road. Because what they're gonna do first is they're gonna check my log books to see if I was driving illegally. Because if I was driving over my hours, 16. longer than what I was supposed to be driving, Legally, I was not supposed to be there, and I could have prevented the accident by driving legally. So that person died needlessly in the government's right, mind. Lloydminster, Alberta. As soon as we pass these red posts, we're in Lloydminster, Saskatchewan. There we go. Welcome to Saskatchewan. Where the taxes are higher. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, that's mean. But it's true. Manitoba's no better though. Our taxes are way too high also, but I guess we get a lot out of it, you know. I don't really like the way everything's run, but I didn't vote for the provincial government that we have in Manitoba. I don't like how they run the province. Uh, it's very social. You know, everything's public. You know, public insurance this. The government controls everything. I don't like that, really. I would rather like to have the freedom to pick between, you know, competitors in insurance and stuff. But that's just me. I don't want to start a political debate. That just sort of popped out of my mouth there. How's your day going so far, man? How's the morning going? Very good, very good. Yeah, you always stick the camera on my face. Get out of my face, man. Mm -hmm. You're a very good boy, you know that? You're very good. Handsome man. Yeah, so, uh, making a quick pit stop here on the way. Wake ourselves up a little bit. We are still in Lloyd Mills. Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan. We just fueled up at the Flying J here. We're trying to pull ourselves up this little hill. Talked to me. Hello. How's it going? People randomly honk at me. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe they follow me on YouTube. Shout out to you in Saskatchewan here then. You're driving a white little Volkswagen Passat. Oh, look at those Lone Stars off to the right. International loans are those are nice. I like the looks of them, but I wish they were real. You know, they're all plastic. Oh, I don't really like the interior space, but they are nice looking trucks. They definitely stand out from the pack. Oh, Timmy's. 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 Oh, 
Well, so how many of you are from Saskatchewan? Got a whole bunch of you following me out here, I know that. Hey, do you guys ever see me out on the road and not say anything? Just curious. My dad is getting recognized more than me. Okay. Everywhere my dad goes, hey, you're Trucker Josh's dad. Are you Trucker Josh's dad? <laughs> he even got recognized at the border. <laughs> Customs officers that recognize them. Hey, you're Trucker Josh's dad. Hilarious. Oh, the prairie. So long and flat. Remember this guy we were uh, looking at this morning? He had that funny pipe coming out of him, leaking out of his trailer or whatever. An air liquid guy, that's this guy. Taking that liquid air somewhere. Air liquid. Is that actually liquid air? What does it mean? Refrigerated liquid. It says. What is he hauling? What is it used for? Very much like to know. So we got another seven hours of this. It's almost a full, that is actually a full work day for most of you. Minus your lunch and uh, coffee breaks. You work seven hours a day, right? I've already uh, driven most of the day already. <laughs> yeah. I work almost two of your work days every day. Isn't that interesting? I don't get paid for two days, so I only get paid for one day. <laughs> we got new mud flaps. Huh? Nice. Gotta get me a set of those. He's like, can you sit and stop pulling on the leash for a bit? I'm trying to make a video here. Oh boy. I'm seeing a sign over here. This area under video surveillance. Well, you bet it is. We're surveilling this place. Right, Diesel? We're looking for troublemakers. We're looking for troublemakers, man. Oh, yeah. The tires are still looking good. Still got so much tread left on here yet. I really don't want to buy new tires yet. These Michelins, even though the recaps have been so good for me, that inside one's wearing a little on the inside. I need an alignment. I should replace the rear ones, I think. Yeah. We'll see. I think I'm gonna go with Michelin. A lot of you have been saying Michelin. I asked you on Facebook what you guys thought the better tire was. There's a couple of you that liked uh, some smaller brands like Dunlop and Yokohama, but the majority of you either said BF Goodrich, Goodyear, or Michelin, with the majority of the majority saying Michelin. Yeah, we're probably gonna go with Michelin. Probably X Energy or something. Very much like the ones I have on there right now. They've been really good for me. They last forever. This garbage just stinks here. Let's get out of here, Diesel. This thing stinks. Oh, man. That's bad. Oh, get up in there, man. I didn't realize that before. That is really rank. Woo. I still wonder where all that garbage came from. Like, we're in the middle of nowhere. Like, there's the scale house. And, like, Regina is... <laughs> You can't even see it from here. Like, there's a factory over there. But, we're out in the middle of nowhere here. And there's just this full... I don't understand the world sometimes. I guess I don't have to. All I gotta do is just live in it. That's right. Right, Diesel? You don't need to understand everything in life. It's okay to say, I don't know. Sometimes we just don't know. Oh, speak for yourself, man. Most of the time, you don't know. Very true. Most of the time, I don't know. I might act like I know. But most of the time, I have no idea. No idea. Don't take whatever I say as fact, guys. Always go double check it yourself. 
Sometimes I talk like I know everything. Don't be fooled. <laughs> I'm learning. I'm new at this owner-operator thing, all right? I don't know everything. I'm learning. And how do you learn? You learn by making mistakes. So you guys out there can learn from my mistakes. I'll make the mistakes, I'll put them on YouTube, and then you can learn from them, all right? All right. Oh, the mighty capital of Saskatchewan, Regina. Regina. With an R. That's how you pronounce it, yes. I keep getting asked that, yes. I didn't name it. So this is their mighty freeway going through town. Looks like they repaved the other side. Holy smokes. Wow. Wonder how long it's gonna last. Nice. Uh-oh, big bump, big bump. Ow, ow, yeah. Yeah, they need to repave this side now. Yep, okay. So this means we're six hours from uh, the yard in Manitoba. 1.7 kilometers. Take ramp on right to Highway 1 East, then keep left. That's right, Mandy. We're going to get on to Trans Canada Highway 1. And that will take us the rest of the way back. Well, I got the sun literally setting right now in my mirror. That's ah, a beautiful sight. Better than looking forward at all these bugs. <laughs> Must be getting close to Manitoba. Speaking of, on the right here, that beautiful blue sign. Welcome to Manitoba. Thank you very much. I'm glad to be home. Our slogan is Spirited Energy. I don't know what that means, but that's our slogan. And we're sticking with it. You want to know how I know that I'm home? I wish I had someone to record me while I was getting the bugs off the window there. But you have to climb right up on the hood and just scrub. For some reason it smells like fish. I don't know why. When you get that many bugs on your truck, it smells like fish when you clean them off. Sort of want some fish now, I'm kind of hungry. But hey, I found a box. Sitting there by the pumps. Uh, my video went up today right when I was asking you guys where you found boxes, right? A week ago for you. And you guys gave me so many good ideas. And while I was cleaning my windows off, I saw someone had left a box on the ground. So, mine now. Reuse, recycle. Look at that face. Look yeah, face. You're so lovable, Diesel. Everybody loves you. Yeah, man. It's the end of the day, guys. We're at the yard in Manitoba. Uh, I dropped the trailer and then I just snuck my bobtail back into a little pocket in the backyard, in the empty yard. It's the weekend. They're not going to need this spot. I'm just going to chill here for the night for a few hours and get up in the morning and go home and start packing. Time is now like, oh it's late. <laughs> it's the next day. I know my lights are still on. I left them on for a reason. Come on Diesel. Come on bud. Yeah man. Oh yeah. Well, come over here. I left the lights on so you could run around in the light. Come on. There you go. Good boy. There you go. Hey! Over here in the light, man, that, there's a difference. There you go. Good boy. Good boy. He just disappeared into the grass. Oh, I love grass. I love grass. Hey, man, I found the grass. Yeah, he's going to go and do his thing there, and uh, I'm going to go do my thing in there. And by my thing, I mean edit videos. That's my thing. So, yeah, I'm kind of nervous about this whole packing moving thing moving away to a faraway land it's actually still it's not too far from here it's only like 45 minutes under an hour just under an hour between 45 minutes to an hour diesel come here stay in the light here where i can see you man you're a black dog man i can't i can't see you in the night i can't see you in the dark man diesel get over here i need to be able to see you 
Oh, he's probably taking it. Oh, there he is. Hey, here, come here, bud. Come here. Good boy. Oh, he's just gonna go run over there. Diesel. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot, man. I forgot. I got totally distracted. Oh, there I go. <laughs> what was I saying? Nervous about moving uh, far out there. I might have to change cell phone providers because my cell phone provider doesn't provide service there. Like I was telling you when it was yesterday or the day before, uh, they provide service till about a mile from my house. So I might be able to get a booster and boost the signal, but we'll see. Other than that guys, go down below to the description. There's a new video up every day at 4 a.m. Central Time. And I'll see you tomorrow.